Hello my friends, hello Photoshop lovers. Welcome to another exciting time in our Photoshop design series. Right? In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to create this poster inside of Photoshop, right? With steps which you'll be able to follow through even as a beginner. So before you do anything, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you miss any videos I'll be dropping any time from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So click on file and click on new. I'm just going to impute my size here, like we've done in previous videos. So of course, to start off here, I'm going to have my, the name of the flyer, right? And size is John 300 RGB and click on create. So you are greeted with this interface. So click on solid color here. But before then, I'm going to change the solid color. The first color I'm going to use is something that looks like red. And for the background color, I'm going to use this color. Click OK like this. And uh, I'm just going to go on and select the solid color here like this. And I'm going to change the color like this. And uh, OK, so this is the color code, right? So I'm going to click OK like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to adjustment layer again. I'm going to go over to where I have gradients and uh, instead of settling for this, click on basic, under basic, click on this first one. So it's a combination of your foreground and your background color, right? So just follow my example, follow my lead, use my settings and click OK. Right? So this is what you're going to have. The next thing you should do is create a new layer. So with this done, I'm going to use my brush, select the brush, make sure it's, you're using this, you're using any of the soft brush, you can use any of the soft brush, it's fine, it's perfect. And uh, make sure the orange is your foreground color, reduce the size of the brush and paint three times here. You can change this to screen. And um, Ctrl T, take this in like this and make this slightly bigger bring this in and you can have this here like this and also make this bigger like this and uh, let me zoom close you can see the lights nicely done so um, select the three of them group them ctrl g and i'm going to name this bg for background Okay, create a new layer above that and um, go over to your text tool. You're selecting the first one and I'm just going to type something very, very easy. So it's actually the mortar. I'm changing the color. I'm using a darker shade. Click OK. This is the font that I used. I'm just going to modify it here. This is the font I use. It's part of the Smart Designer um, Premium Assets, right? So um, inside the Premium Asset, these are the folders that you have. So you have your light flare, you have your fonts. These are all your fonts. And um, you, you have also your premium images, right? That you can use for your personal projects. And uh, you also have uh, premium stuff here. You have your church flyers. All these are templates. You have your club. All these are templates that you can use for your design. Photoshop templates. This is digital marketing. You can see how many you have here. And um, these are orders. You can see how much you have here too. You have real estate and you have all of these things too. And you also have your PNG images. You can see you have your PNG images. You can see how much it is, right? All these are in your Smart Designer Premium Assets, right? You can see how good this is quality, right? So any image you select here, you can be rest assured that the image is top notch. So if you have not gotten your Smart Designer Premium Assets, now is the best time. Of course, you have backgrounds and you also have 3D text effects and also all these images that you can see there. And also you have your CorelDRAW templates um, for your CorelDRAW 
and also you have your photoshop templates all of this are in the description of this video so do not miss the description of this video for anything make sure you click and you get yours so moving on uh, let's move on so i'm going to increase the size of this mortar like this so i have something like this yeah so when i do this i'm just going to uh make several copies of this mortar yeah so making several copies i'm just going to change the color uh, to make sure it rhymes with the background not that deep black so i think i'm cool with this so i can make move this upward and make several copies ctrl j and move this down ctrl j again until you have two more copies so the last copy ctrl j move this downward i'm holding shift so it doesn't tilt in the wrong way select all of this move this upward like this and um, what you want to do is press ctrl g to group them right or you can do this put it inside of this but i'll choose not to do this so i'm just going to maintain what i have ctrl z and leave it here like this right so i'm going to close the background and i can group this ctrl g and i'm going to make or rename this text right make sure when you're designing in photoshop you keep your layers clean and easy to navigate through right so let's move on with this design i'm going to select this bottle drag and drop inside here like this and i'm going to make it slightly bigger like this right now for you you might want to make um let me reduce this right so things are not out of proportion so my bottle selected i'm still adjusting the text so select the bottle you can see you if you want to make it pop more you can go over to filter um camera raw and uh you can make this settings to this particular image right so you can copy my settings here to get this done So I'm going to create a new layer and put it directly under the Mortar Guinness bottle. I'm going to select black. I want to create a shadow. Select the brush, brush like this. Make sure your cap lock is turned off and reduce the size of the brush like this until you get something like this. Click one, two, three times. Ctrl T, hold down shift and bring it to the base of the bottle to create a nice drop shadow like this. Okay. So what you can do now is to make several copies of this shadow. So uh, what you want to do is Ctrl J and move this to this point here. Ctrl J again. But before then, let me reduce the shadow of this. It doesn't need to be too much shadow there. So put this here like this. Okay. I'm going to move this upward like this and uh, make adjustment to the bottle and the shadow. Make sure you are making adjustment to the right shadow, right? So I can uh, group all of them together as bottle like this, right? So having done this, let's move on to the next step. Create a new layer and you want to make sure you're using this shade of orange a lighter shade this is the color code right so click ok select your brush b for brush and uh, make the brush small and click once like this right change the blend mode to linear dodge add Control T and hold down shift to make a tight make this light tiny like this. Put at the edge here like this. Now make duplicate copy 
of this I'm putting here. Ctrl T and put this here like this. And um, Ctrl T and put this here like this. Right, so this is basically continuation of this light. Rotate this like this and um, have this this way. So I'm going to select this, make a duplicate copy of this to make the light pop out more. Of course, the blend mode is set to screen. Right? Group all of these two and you can name this obviously light so this part here you can see that i have a strong um line outline so i'm going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur filter again blur gaussian blur and uh, i'm going to click ok like this Right, I'm going to convert this to smart objects, go to filter and I'm going to add noise to this, click OK, make sure you're not doing too much and click OK. So if you want to make adjustments, you can click on the, the smart object link and make changes here and save it, right? So, I'm going to top layer, create a new layer here. Um, sample the color from this part here, click OK. And flip this with your brush selected. Paint in some shadows like this, like this. Change the blend mode to... And reduce it slightly like this. Create another new layer and uh, with your text selected, you can type in something like this. And I'm just going to make adjustment to this, like changing the color of the text and also making it smaller like this. All of this you can do under your properties right so i'm going to move this up you can see why it's very very good to actually group your items well so with the text i'm going to space them up by using this here 200 works best for me and uh, i'm creating a new layer above the text this time i'm going to use a black like this And I'm just going to make a um, shadow cast on this down part here. Right? And um, the last thing I'm going to do here is color balance. So you can copy my settings for this. Make sure you're not doing too much. And you can see where we are right now. So you can see the huge lift from where we were and where we are right now. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video just up above. Ciao.